most of the guys are either Stadia fans or cloud gaming fans, right? Would you guys consider Stadia's launch into uh, cloud gaming groundbreaking? Or did you think that uh, GFN was good enough at the, at the time? Because there was no 4K on GFN when, uh, when St uh, Stadia launched. And I mean, uh, admittedly, uh, not every game on Stadia was 4K. But do you think that the fact that there were some games that were 4K, like the Division 2 and stuff with, you know, Stream Connect and, you know, all these, all these uh, features, do you guys consider that at the time, two years ago, were game changing? <clears throat> Or is just inevitable, and then Google Stadia just happened to uh, to be first at it because they weren't first to cloud gaming. That's for sure. We know that. I've been. I'm working on a. Uh, after I just talked about how I can research, I'm working on a uh, cloud gaming uh, history video. And uh, and there was a bunch of companies, uh, including GFN, that were uh, out way before Google Stadia, uh, including PlayStation and Xbox. So, um, what do you guys think the difference is? Why do you guys think with the hype for, for Stadia was so big? The new tech that will define the future of gaming. The games industry is a dynamic and rapidly evolving market sector that now encompasses a diverse range of genres, platforms, and services. While mainline co console titles grow ever more expensive to produce and purchase, outside these blockbuster franchises, disruptive organizations within the industry are delivering value to gamers for all stripes. From comparison platform Odd Shirker, apprising its patrons of the latest bonuses and promotions for top online casinos to the ever increasing popularity of free to play games delivering top tier gaming without any upfront cost many consider this moment to be a minor golden age in the history of gaming don't you guys think that stadia to add to, to what i just asked you do you don't think this stadia is the future just like free to play games are the future. Look at Fortnite. Look at how explosive Fortnite was. Uh, you know, I don't remember if I, I didn't play it back in the day. I don't know if it was free to play from the beginning or or after they became a, a battle royale. But Destiny 2, Warzone, Apex, a Valorant. I mean, all these games are coming up and they're having huge, huge communities <clears throat> because they're free to play. And really, only those hardcore fans have to spend any money on it. You don't think the Stadia is basically trying to uh, uh, implement the same type of uh, environment for Stadia? Because it's free. It's free, and only you only have to spend money if you want to spend money, if you're a fan of it. Uh, there's no way I would have spent as much as I spent on Stadia um, on a console. Impossible. There's no, there's no way. But now they got twice what it, would, what it would have cost me to buy a console just because I was able to access it for free. Uh, I didn't pick up Stadia originally because it required the bundles. Yeah, actually, yeah, that's a good point. It wasn't free from the beginning. It wasn't until they offered free months of Stadia Pro that I signed up. Exactly. Just like me. I don't know if Stadia is the future, but cloud gaming certainly is. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I hope Stadia is because that's where my money is. But, you know, I put money on Ouya. Do you know what Ouya was? <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I played it for a little bit and then just sat there. That was another console that I don't, I, I didn't talk about in uh, Purple Haze's uh, show, but <laughs> Ooh, yeah. I had fun with it. I wasn't like, a, like I said, I wasn't a hardcore gamer, but eventually it just got way weird with all the different games. They were just crap. I think Stadia is trying to be free to play games, but they don't offer enough free to play games. No, but no, not the, yeah, okay. So they only have seven right now. Probably gonna be eight with uh, uh, Roller Champs, nine with X Defiant. I think there's another one from Ubisoft. So I don't think they're trying to provide the free to play games because you can do that on a PC. I think they were trying to be the console version of free to play, which if you think about it, that that's, that's huge. You know what I mean? Because what happens with these free to play games, you have huge communities, especially, you know, a lot of kids, a lot of young, right now, uh, it, it kind of boggles my mind why there's so many older people on Stadia. But I guess it's because to me, in my opinion, because I have some kids from an Animal Crossing community that I, I try to get them to uh, join Stadia, but they always kept running up to uh, running against this, uh, you know, uh, 
what do you call it, credit card subscription thing, even though you didn't have to pay. So I think that was a big mistake. I've said it before in, in other videos. That was a big mistake from Google. But uh, I hope they move more into the free-to-play console theme of the business, right, where you can also buy games because that's where the big communities go to. If they can bring in more free-to-play games or more demos or trials, I think GFN dropping those trials or demos is a smart move because now it's free. The trials are, what, 30 minutes? So even if you're the free tier, you can still do... Well, you can do unlimited because every time we relaunch it, uh, your session restarts. Um, so I think GFN is... is uh, I don't know if that's a response to Stadia, having trials and demos. I wouldn't put it past them to see that as a as a comp competitive advantage on Stadia. You know what I mean? Because it's already free. Now, they don't have, now you don't even need a, a subscription to see this, the store and the demos. You can literally just go to stadia.com slash games and try the trials and the demos right off from there. Uh, so I think, I think it was a good move from GFN because Stadia is, you know, I, whether they did it on purpose or it was always part of the plan. I think that's why Xbox came up with, you can now play your own games on Xbox because Stadia can't beat that. You know what I mean? Because imagine how many games Xbox players uh have on their libraries and if had if it has been offered in the cloud and you can play those games in the cloud now the console doesn't seem like a you know like a, a paperweight because you know the hard drive isn't big enough or whatever you can just turn it on and play the games without having to install them i think that's a big move from xbox and they, and they already admitted a long time ago that <clears throat> the stadia and luna were their their biggest worries so uh, I mean, I got to give him props. I, it's kind of exciting to see how the fight's going to end, if it ends at all. You know what I mean? Because Netflix and Disney Plus, they're still going at it, you know? Unfortunately, Blockbuster just just didn't act quick enough. 